Disclaimer, the hosts of this podcast, Timothy Patrick and Will Foley, are by no means medical professionals. However, having lived experience with mental illness themselves, they have gained useful perspectives on common mental health issues that some of us struggle to overcome on a daily basis. By sharing their stories, they hope to create connection. By creating connection, they hope to help you find your purpose. And through purpose, we can all begin to build the foundation for positive mental health. This is Above Ground Podcast. Are you ready to lace up your boots, throw up your horns, and jump into the pit? Then let's stomp the stigmas of mental illness. It's time for Above Ground Podcast. Now, Will Foley and Timothy Patrick. First, I wanted to talk to you about our good friends, Dan and Natalie at Close Knit Company. That's right. It's May. You know what May means? It's t-shirt weather. That's right. T-shirt weather. They got all sorts of cool designs to strap you in, man. So go check them out at closeknitco.com. Make sure you tell them you heard it here on Above Ground Podcast. And while you're over there checking out their awesome designs for the summertime and checking out some tequila t-shirts because... They got lots of them floating around, I see. Uh, uh, You can check out Collabex and pick yourself up an Above Ground Podcast t-shirt or hoodie. uh, Because that's how we keep this show rolling, people. T-shirts. We all love t-shirts. Hey, what is up, everyone? Welcome to Above Ground Podcast. Above Ground Podcast. Because you can't serve below. You know who that is. You down with T.P.P. Hey, hey. Yeah, you know me. Oh, it's Timmy. Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. <laughs> oh, it's Timmy. Oh. What's up, Will? What's going on, buddy? How are you? I'm doing okay. How are you? Ah, uh, you know. Living the fucking dream, man. Living the dream. Speaking of dream. Speaking of dreams, dude, you know what? I haven't been dreaming that much. No? And I wonder if it's because I'm having sleep issues. So you know, did you know that poor sleep is the most common symptom of depression? No, Timmy, do tell. Because <laughs> I need help in that regard. <laughs> well, they say, too, you know, I, um, some of the stuff I, uh, that I'm going to spit out right now is from... Uh, a book called The Upward Spiral by Alex Korb. Um, and he says that too little or low quality sleep is a big factor in not only being depressed, but staying depressed. You well, know what I mean? It's like a ding, con- ding, ding. Could c- the fries are done. Yeah, continuous cycle, you know? Yeah, I can believe it. But low, you know, having uh, not enough sleep, like, lowers your pain threshold it, it screws with your memory um, it, it 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 actually increases your blood pressure it elevates stress has numerous effects on the PFC and the hippo, hippocampus um, I believe it even alters your serotonin dopamine norepinephrine that kind of thing Wow yeah there's it, a lot there's a lot wrapped in that cookie man there is there's a lot when it comes to sleep I mean it's just um well it's it's you know that we're talking about sleep because sleep and mental health go hand in hand um, I have uh, a Harvard Medical School um, publishing uh, they published something called the Harvard Mental Health Letter and they did a thing about sleep and mental health. And some things that we have to remember about sleep problems, sleep problems are more likely to affect patients with psychiatric disorders than they are the general population. And sleep problems increase the risk for developing particular mental illnesses as a result of such disorders. Mm. Now, they do say that if you go get a sleep study and taking care of the sleep problems, it does help with trying to... You know, it's it's sure. one factor in yeah, helping yeah. to get you out of it. Absolutely. But as as someone who has suffered uh, sleep disturbances a lot in the last probably ten years, uh, due to you know injury, due to due to just not being able to shut my brain off, my brain does, you know, my brain does the you know the run every night so yeah it's well like, i mean that's it's big you know sleep deprivation is big with you know anxiety disorders and, and bipolar 
as well. Yeah, yeah, big time. And I can understand why, because you have to shut your body down at some point. Yeah. And, and if you shut it down to a point where it's not effective, it affects everything else on the other side, man. It's nothing like waking up after not getting a good night's sleep and having to go through the drudgeries of living another 24 hours like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's funny, too, because people always say, like, you know, if you, for some reason, get, like, lousy sleep or, you, you know, you're up late or whatever, there's an, uh, there's an event and you only got, like, four hours of sleep because you had to get up early and go, go to work. Um, people always think that you can like make it up the next night, and that's actually not true. Yeah, you actually go into a sleep uh, deep. Oh, Jesus, I'm not quick on the draw anymore, man. I better like start taking sli- some. Uh, sh- I better start taking some like sleep bank or something like that. Yeah, right? something like yeah. that. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It yep. feels like you're running the loneliness of the long distance runner, man. No. When, you're, when you're sleep <laughs> nice. deprived, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, they, they say um, people with you know, sleep problems, you know, it, it just, I, I mean, I guess as you were just saying, it can exa- it exacerbate the mental illness, you know, um, it causes just more, more problems, more problems with sleep. And as I said, it affects the brain. It can, um, weight gain. They even say not only does it affect your immune system in a negative way, but, um, some even say that it, it can shorten your life. <laughs> oh, I believe it. You I know? believe it. And it, I I can understand that because I I know for myself like when I'm sleep deprived I even crave like I crave bad food I yeah. crave coffee mm-hmm. I crave these things that aren't necessarily a, a band aid at all they actually add more to the sleep deprivation because right. of the caffeine because which of the, a lot of stuff does you probably just don't re- recognize it well though, but yeah a lot of the shit I partake in does but there was a study actually by the uh, Mental Health Foundation and uh, they found that people that didn't get enough sleep um, are four times as likely to suffer from lack of concentration and relationship problems and three times more likely to be depressed. Wow. A streak of not sleeping well can also double your chances of suicide. Wow. I know. I mean, this, that, that's, know, that's, it's sleeping helps the brain regenerate, um, you know, regenerate without Basically, you know, your loss loss of cognitive abilities, you know what I mean? Because obviously when when you sleep, there's still stuff that physiological, there's stuff that happens still. Well, right. Your body is literally going through. It's downloading all the information from the day. That's a good way to say it. It's ridding itself of of different things during sleep also, like stress and, and, well, of course, it probably doesn't rid itself of stress if you're stressed and you go to bed. It's just... Hard, yeah, I don't know that one. They say um, uh, six. I don't, again, I, this doesn't have like age range on it, so I'm not sure. But um, six seems to be the magic number. Um, there's also been studies that say getting less than six hours of sleep on a continuous basis makes you 48 percent more likely to die of heart disease and 15 percent more likely to have a stroke. So those who sleep six hours or less, are also at a greater risk to die over a 25-year streak of bad sleeping habits. Wow. Yeah. I, I remember sleep being a very welcomed thing when I was young. Mm. I uh, And my first experience that I remember that was really kind of freaky, that sleep meant a lot to your body, was when I first went to go live with my grandparents after everything had dissolved between my parents and stuff and my mom had been taken to the hospital the first time the night i arrived at my grandparents was around like 9 nine thirty p.m i literally slept an entire day and a half following that they actually had to wake me up Whoa. a day later just because I was not, I, right, I was. Right, they were nervous, probably. Yeah, dude, they were. They were like, well, I you slept, obviously must have felt safe at your grandparents' house. Uh, yeah, I, I must have been, or I must have just been just exhausted. Well, that too, but, yeah. but yeah, dude, and wow. I remember, and I, yeah, it was crazy because I, I've always, I was always told that too. I remember when you came here, you had to, we had to wake you up because we huh. were afraid you weren't. Gonna, we were afraid you weren't waking up. <laughs> oh man, yeah, better sleep equals better mood. You know, as you were saying, like. During during sleep, you know, you the body recharges, and what also recharges is your neurotransmitters. You know, 
like as I was saying before, the the whole serotonin, dopamine, norepinephrine, um, melatonin too, which melatonin is a hormone released by the pineal gland, and it it's basically it happens at night, you know. So, and when that when there's a problem with that, that inhibits melatonin, and it's a it's a whole as we know it's it's a whole streak how everything's interconnected, you know. Well, so sleep sleep affecting mental health. Um, I'm I'm looking back at this Harvard thing again, and every ninety minutes a normal sleep, uh, normal sleeper cycle, but cycles of, between yes. the two major categories of sleep. Um, and during quiet sleep, a person progresses through four stages of increasingly deep sleep, which is insane that we go through that much. Yeah. But I, but I have to say this. Like and I and I know this because I've been going through this in periods over the last couple of years and I've experienced this probably within the last 6 months that there are nights where I just cannot get to sleep and even after falling asleep I just don't stay asleep. Hmm. And it's the littlest thing wakes me up and it takes forever for me to go back yeah, to sleep. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, because when when we're in r- rapid eye movement sleep, which is deep, which is the deep sleep where people more dream, active, right? Yeah. That's the fifth stage. Body temperature and blood pressure, heart rate and breathing increase to levels measured when people are awake. And studies show that REM sleep enhances learning and memory and contributes to emotional health in complex ways, which. It goes to show, man, that it's all interrelated. <laughs> right, it's all, exactly. It's all part of the. It's all part of the whole kit and caboodle. Like you got, like you can't, you can't throw a sleeping pill at somebody and not address the problems that they're having. I agree. Just the like, same thing with the food issue. You can't. Well, right. You can't. You know? Right. Yeah. And again, if you're eating, I mean, if you're drinking a pot of coffee before you go to bed. Now, That's... if you're me, I don't have a, a much of a an aversion to caffeine that late at night. No. Huh? No. Wow. Uh, some night now, not all the time. Some nights when I'm really anxious. It just kicks my ass, and I just can't shut it off. I just can't. Like, my brain just plays over and over right. and over. I should be up. I, sh- I could shit all over myself for an entire night because, I sh- you know, I feel like I should be doing something else, and I'm tired, and I don't feel like doing it, but then I can't sleep either, so I start to get... It goes into a cycle of guilt, and it's it's it, it hurts. It does. It physically hurts. I'm sure it does. Absolutely, yeah. Um you know, again, I think this is from that um, Alex Korb book. I wrote this down. Uh, people with depression show increased time in REM sleep and less time in slow wave sleep. So I thought that was pretty pretty interesting. More sero- basically, more serotonin equals less REM sleep. Is that his name? Um, is that what it is? Core. No, Corb, K O R B. Okay. Yeah. It's like a upper, but down. there's a there's a longer title. It's like the upward spiral. Um, using neuroscience to, you know, something like that. Oh, that's cool. We can link it. It's a great book. It's an absolutely amazing book, actually, to be honest with you. But um, yeah. So more serotonin equals less REM sleep. Huh. Yeah. So that means people with serotonin syndrome or whatever could have a really hard time with insomnia. Possible, And it's hence the reason why so many people get prescribed sleeping aids along with medicine also. Mm, Yeah. And, you know, as you were saying before, how everything's interconnected, your your dopamine level has an effect on... it, It regulates those stages of sleep that you mentioned. Yeah, I can imagine, and and I know like for people with Parkinson's, Parkinson's disease is a is is caused within the dopamine system. It means they don't get enough dopamine. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't and, know that. And um, the, they have a really hard time at times sleeping, or they sleep so much because they're so exhausted. Like it messes with your dopamine cycles. Interesting. Yeah, it's it's that it's, is it's, yeah, a, it's a it's a terrible disease too. Oh well, yeah, for sure. Um, and you know, we, I mean, we talk about mental health, but neurological conditions are, are just as much a part of the mental health spectrum as, mm-hmm. as depression and anxiety are. Sure. I agree. Um, so, you know, there's also, you can take a deep dive if you want into circadian rhythms as well, you know? 
Yeah, follow the cycles of the sun if you can. Right. That good luck with that. I know, but I'm you just, know this isn't a hunter and ga- hunter gatherer right. society, man. Right. <laughs> I'm just. Uh, um, this is a consume, consume, consume until you're consumed society. Right. But if you can like kind of keep the same bedtime, um, and even the same wake time, kind of just setting a schedule, you know, to with positive sleep habits, I guess you could call them, and um, you know, set yourself a bedtime. And, um, you know, maybe before bed, have a little routine, whether it's if you want to take a bath or shower or brush your teeth and um, maybe read a book. I mean, some people say don't read a book, but I mean, whatever works for you. you know? yeah, I say whatever works for you. Yeah. I mean, shit, dude. You got to gotta smoke me, a can into your head to get you to sleep, then smoke the can into your head, man. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> like, just pack the bowl and smoke it. Get some sleep, get some rest. So you're, and as I was saying before, the, uh, when, you know, the, the PFC, the parts of the brain, uh, the hippocampus, um, you know, that's what really functions best on good quality sleep. And your hippocampus is your learning and memory, you know. So when you're obviously like younger, younger kids, you know, if they stay up all night and, you know, or whatever like that, and then they have to go to school and it's like, you're not, you're not, you know. Dude, my home, my my daughter, she has a hard time Sleeping? shutting down. Yeah. No, once she sleeps, she sleeps, but she just doesn't like to go to bed, so she stays up late. And it's like you can you can, dude, it's been this way forever. Yeah. Since, yeah, and it's it's hard. It was well, hard. Apples don't fall far. <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> apples don't fall from the pear tree. Yes. Oh, you don't have anything for that, huh? <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, but also, Will, as Will said, you know, with the sunlight, you know, that affects the melatonin. Obviously, same thing with the circadian rhythms there. There's, um, what do they call them, light boxes, right? Yeah, yeah. And you can, you know, get light boxes, and it's it's basically, I think, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to do it first thing in the morning. Basically, like, get, like, a block of 30 minutes or something, whether maybe while you're eating uh, breakfast or something, and just have it shine on your face, and it it's supposed to help uh, replenish your melatonin. I actually tried melatonin for the first time. Um about two weeks ago, because I was going through that cycle of not being able to sleep. Right. And it was like two days, and I was like, I was just fried. And I, we had some, mel- we, my wife bought me some melatonin so I could try it. And uh, I hadn't opened it yet, so I was like, I put one on my tongue. And I let it dissolve, but it still took me, dude. One. Well, one I think you pill. have to take. I mean, yeah, you can't just. I don't. Yeah, think I don't know to, if it's necessarily like a, a a sleep aid as far as right. Like it's it's right supposed in. to be like a um, more preventative. Like take it for a week. You know what I mean? Continuously, and it and it and it might help. You know what I mean? Once you get it in your system, but I don't think like just taking one is going to be like the magic pill although they do say you can take a couple if you need to they do say that you can take like two i think on hmm. the bottle but but always always consult your physician yes always consult your physician please we are not doctors <laughs> we're not even professionals no <laughs> <laughs> to some people we're not even likable nah, that's true but you know what I still love you though, yeah. and we still love the we still love the people that don't like us too because they true. need love too. They need love too. They might need sleep too. You never know. That might be why they don't like us. Maybe they think we sleep all the time and they don't. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the best ways to determine if you're getting enough sleep is uh, just being mindful of how you feel in the morning. You know, if you're waking up refreshed and ready to start the day, um, it's a good indicator that you're getting enough sleep. If you're dragging, uh, you know, fatigued, cranky, um, then lack of sleep might be to blame for that, you know? Sure. It's like with anything else, you know, just, I think that's why a kind of um, a good diary or log book or something like that is is, um, very helpful in these situations. Whether if you're dealing with depression and your emotions, by logging on this, you know, get some cards, you know, index cards or something and just log what you're feeling or what you ate, or how you slept, slept that day. You know, all this stuff, if you really want to start um, buckling down and, like, connecting dots, that will be a um, probably one of the best things you can do to, 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 you know, get an outcome or an answer. I have noticed since I started listening to uh, Binaural Beats again, 
at there night. There you go. And some like other stuff meditative wise has been helping me like relax and fall back to fall asleep again. I have noticed that that's kind of settled me in a little bit more and I can relax. I notice uh, a lot of people don't, a lot of people, even music people, music like people with like big credentials from big schools don't don't agree that that binaural beats actually do anything really yeah i saw yeah i went down the rabbit hole one day i got caught in the fake loop of you know fake yeah. book and well I, I i read some of the comments and then i went to somebody somebody made like these big huge comments and i'm like all right who is this guy this guy's got it. and it turns out he's like like a really like he's like a like a brass player and he's got like you know, he's a conservatory guy. Like, he's a classical music, tr like, professional. He's a teacher. That's fine, but I don't know if you can argue with science. But I don't, I don't, <laughs> I, I don't buy into the fact that just because it doesn't work for you. Right, I mean. That you don't think it works for anybody. The brain, like, going back to those stages. Because I can tell you one thing. They do alter brain waves. That's I what I mean. I have felt and it, it. And then, you know, just going back to those stages of sleep, figuring out your brain waves, it's like, right. you know, it's, again, it's, I have it's felt science. It. I have so. felt the pulse. I literally had... I had one binaural beat recording on one day, and I, maybe I was or maybe I wasn't high at the time. I don't know. I could have been. And uh, I was meditating, and I had just gotten into this. Like, I could just feel this. I could feel that binaural pulse just going through, man. I could literally feel it, like, nice. alternate in between my ears. Now, maybe it is really the headphones doing it that, because that's what you got. That's why you got to wear headphones. Right. Because that's where you're going to get the full effect. Sure. But I've also noticed, I also did have noticed a slight effect when I'm on the acupuncture table because... Well, that's the thing. A lot of those, like if you go to get, um, if you go to yoga sometimes or, or, or acupuncture or a massage, a lot of times if they play music, it, it's got some of those elements to it. Well, it does. And I know that Greg uses, like Greg leaves the binaural beat channel on because he's oh, okay. told me and, um, and it's... And it was like I got you know you can feel it if you're if you're able to not everybody can yeah but no. but then again not everybody does acupuncture either because a lot right. of people say oh it doesn't do anything for me well I think it, I don't I just it might not be for you then right that's all absolutely but you can't say it doesn't work you know what I mean right you can't say it doesn't work it just it, doesn't work for you you know as we always say it's it's not just one thing it's you yeah you, you gotta keep your tool belt handy and. Um, you know, just collect tools as you go and figure out if somebody else has has a tool that you may not have heard of or tried, you know, stick it in the belt for later. Give it a shot, you know. You never know when it's going to work or when when you're going to need it, I should say. Timmy, Evil Knievel from Wembley asks, have you had sleep problems? Thankfully, no. I did at one point in my life a few years back when I was going through, the you know, some mental health struggles. Um yeah, that sucked. But um, I guess my, I mean, I, I, I call it a problem, but it's not a problem. But it, like, I, I go to sleep early. I, I fall yeah. asleep at like 8.30. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's an old man. So, yeah. <laughs> but you know what, though? It, it, you know, I think it's part of my, you know, healthy routine, you know? I don't know. If well, you need, you, you really do need to, though. Because yeah. you're still super physically active as far True, as your job and stuff, man. So you really do need rest, and you need that recuperation. And then, because in you, and it's obvious for like guys like us that have depression issues and stuff. Like I know when I'm not sleeping, it starts to affect everything. Yeah, it you affects, can. Yeah, you can tell, and you I absolutely and, can. It's like and, you know, it's almost like eating. You know, eating like a either a crappy meal or no meal, and like maybe just dessert or like sweets, junk food. You can feel that too. I oh, I do, I do. I still do it sometimes. Oh yeah, I must. Yeah, yeah. Although I'm about to change my diet big time. I at this yeah, point, I, I'm might, pretty sure I may have to. to. I might be forced to. Unity is telling me that uh, you know, give me a knock on the head. <laughs> but you know, um, I guess while we're talking about this, is a, a big thing right now is immune system, and um, you know, lack of sleep can affect your immune system in a negative way. You know, you don't get enough sleep, then um, it affects your ability to fight infection. Um, it, you know, it, it increases your your chances of getting sick as well. Oh, absolutely. It definitely increases the likelihood of, of, of developing an illness. Right. Or catching something. Right. So that's, uh, you know, that's something to be said. 
you know, and a lot of people too are also. Um, I and I don't if, really know if you can offset that by just taking some vitamin C and stuff, because I think after, if you were to to run yourself down day after day for a couple of weeks, you would... yeah, I mean you can't, and that I mean I'm not a doctor or a scientist, but I I don't think you can run yourself down and then and then like just pop a vitamin C pill or have a thin glass of orange juice and like think everything's going to be dandy. It's like, you know, when you run your car out of oil, you know, you're, it's going to affect something else. So you can't just, you know, put a half quart of oil in there and expect to drive away and, and, you know, and be good with it. It's, there's other things at play, you know? Sure. And I mean, look at, well, look at, look at what lack of sleep does for drivers, man. Oh yeah. Talk about like, oh yeah. It's, it's, it's almost as bad, if not worse than being drunk behind the wheel a lot of times because it's, it's similar yeah and it's just about the same thing yeah i mean it's, it it slows your reaction time and, and it decreases your alertness you know your focus is is you know lull or whatever you want to call it you know yeah absolutely no i can no no yeah no yeah. there's no focus i was whatsoever. waiting for you to practice or i was waiting for you to uh what's the word to intervene Correct me. Jesus, oh. what just happened? Woo. I think I'm rubbing off on you. Hold so on. You... There we go. Wow. Push that out of the way. Yeah. There. <laughs> hey, I was waiting for you to intervene and correct me on that, but you didn't, so I was no, like, maybe dude, I was I'm right. Not, and I'm then... not on the... <laughs> yeah, Willie's riding the... Uh... Ginger bus. Willie's riding the ginger bus. This <laughs> week, man. I've got some... <laughs> Willie's running on ginger, ginger ale and ginger root. Yeah, and... stomach is not uh, cooperating <laughs> whatsoever. Which that could affect your sleep. Oh, it has. You know, it has. That's why. That's where I really noticed that I was having a real issue. In this, uh, in so in this, Will had uh, given me this uh, Harvard thing about why sleep is important. American Sleep Association. So this says uh, that sleep is one of the most important things you can do to maintain good health. Getting enough sleep is critical for your safety as well as your emotional and physical well-being. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, this stuff's... It's stuff's not just for it, dreaming. Man. It's not just for dreaming, man. Not just for dreaming, not just for shutting off, not just for avoiding life. It's literally necess- It's a necessity. Right. Not, Although yeah. it's a pretty good... It's a pretty good... Um, it's a pretty good, uh, thing to do when you don't want to, when you want to avoid life too, is sleep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I would think that, um, you know, sometimes I know depression is, you know, you can have too much sleep, you know, you're sleeping all the time. Yeah. I, I've, I've gone through those cycles. I had, I hit those cycles back in 2012 where I was just sleeping yeah. all the time. Well, I think that, you know, in, in, in deep depression, it affects the the limbic system and the communication with the prefrontal cortex, I believe. So, again, everything's interconnected. You know what I mean? When 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 one cog is off, or or if one needs a little grease, it's going to affect something else down the road. You know? Well, sure, because it can't move all at the same time. Right. Right. It gets caught in its whatever you know whatever grinding it's doing is because it's just it can't. It can't operate the same as it normally does, and a lot of times it'll cause it'll cause you to come to a grinding halt, man. Sure. In one way or another. One way or another. One way or another. Yeah. What's that? If you don't pay attention to your mental wellness, you'll be paying attention to your mental illness. You know. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Mark that one down, boys and girls. Mark that one down. Mark that one down. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) Um. Put what that else? in your tool belt. What else, yeah, put that in your tool mm-hmm. belt and then use it. How do you like that? I like them <laughs> apples, really. <laughs> so sleep is important. That's basically what we're trying to tell you. You know, it's just one of the many um, factors. Actually, we're not really trying to tell you. That's, we're just letting you right. know we're, that sleep is very important. Right. We're trying to convey the message. That's all right. Right. We got to be the messengers of truth. We are the bringers of of knowledge. We are the bringers of knowledge, the sultans of stomp, and <laughs> well, I don't know what else. Will's the curator of hope. Yeah. <laughs> and Timmy's my ambassador of stomp. Yes. Yes. We we are here. We are here. We are legion. <laughs> <laughs>
So what are you guys doing for sleep? Yeah, I want to hear some tips here because I could really use some. Well, what are you doing? You're doing just, just be besides the binaural beats, anything? Uh, you know, smoke a little weed here and there. All right. Um, the, the, I actually, does that help? Yeah, well, it does because I can literally go to bed. But does and, it, does it, and you'll stay asleep? Yeah, I stay asleep right through the night. Now, when I wake up the next morning, though, it might be a little like bit. I've noticed. But even now that I I haven't I haven't used any in a while, and I'm still waking up in the same way that I was. I'm still groggy. I'm still not getting. I'm still not getting restful sleep. It's very hard for me to be comfortable. You should try maybe I sleep one of on the a wedge on your phone. Well, I sleep on a wedge because. Between the stomach and my neck and my back, like sleeping yeah, flat, sucks. dude, it hurts. It sucks because I there's no good pillow. I gotta buy like one of those cervical pillows. Oh yeah, and I keep like looking at them on Amazon. What about that guy with the mustache with the soft pillow? No, fuck him. Oh, all right. Jeez, I'm so angry. Yeah, yeah. He can take his cross and <laughs> well, <laughs> put it up his nose. Um. Anyway, I, I digress. <laughs> Hail Satan! Yeah, so that's our that's our that's our sleeping tips for this episode. <laughs> There's here's a sleeping tip for you. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I I I know that things affect your sleep, like drinking too much. I know sure. eating too late, like, and I I know for it does, yeah. and for people like uh, like like we've been in this lifestyle before, man. Stay li- stay up all night. You know, you go to you go to eat at like two, you know, eleven thirty, twelve, one o'clock in the morning. Ugh, yeah, and I and nah. I've pl- spent plenty of nights doing that. And I I I eat sometimes at ten o'clock at night, some nights. Yeah, if I'm because I just it, it's because I noticed that my cycles really do like they all kind of culminate together. Like I if I'm if I'm running cycle of depression, I seem to want I crave sugar. Oh I crave, yeah, sure. I cra- like I crave something comforting. Yeah. Exactly Just because, what I was going to say. Right. And that's and and of course that's the suffering that I'm having is that you know as I'm craving that thing and it's really not it's it's serving a purpose at the time but what's the what's the debt that I'm getting paid or what's the debt that I'm going to get that served with that on the bill they're incurring as well yeah right, yeah and it I'm keeps, incurring a lot I mean you're incurring a lot of debt I'm mister. incurring a lot of debt man I might lose a gallbladder so <laughs> yeah. I'm incurring some debt there the, the IRS is going to be knocking on your door pretty soon <laughs> yeah no, I don't have to worry about them. I I I, I file my taxes. The uh, the sleep the sleep RS might be coming. The sleep RS. The yeah. sleep RS. So do you notice with uh, you know when you're cycling or maybe your depression? Do you notice a difference as well in the sleep? Yeah, I notice the quality of sleep is not as good. Quality. Yeah, the quality of sleep is not as good. But I have noticed this in recent years. I remember when I was young. I could dream, and I dreamt a lot. Now, if I'm dreaming, I don't even know most yeah, of the time. I don't remember. And, uh, yeah, I don't remember, and I don't even know if I'm actually getting to that stage. And that's what makes me wonder if my sleep problems are a lot more because I've had sleep, like I have sleep apnea. And yeah, I do too. I had the mask for a while, but the mask sucked, so I got rid of it. And I haven't really found an alternative, but it does help me to sleep on an incline. I do notice that. It does help that. And nobody's been complaining about me snoring. Like, my wife hasn't complained about me snoring. Has your and, girlfriend been complaining? Uh, yeah, I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the fuck? Well, I'll could, really be sleeping in the bathtub. Because <laughs> you said nobody's been complaining, and then well, you corrected I, I, yourself. I, you like, know what I mean? No, I'm I just saying nobody's teasing. complaining. Only so. teasing. I mean, you Mrs. know, there's Foley. times, there's times when, there's times when you can hear me snore and like I snore like. Oh a, sure, yeah. I roar. My son will, yeah. My son will tell me that like the next day, he's like, I heard, I couldn't even sleep. Yeah, and that's like, not well, motorboating. That's really going right. down. Hey, you know, that's what it takes, man. Sometimes, it, sometimes I'm just dreaming that I'm a motorcycle. Ah, oh, I can't blame you there, man. You got to be jonesing. I am jonesing. Teasing Jones, you should have already been out already. There's been a couple of days. There has, but I've been working. No, oh, that's true. You know, yeah. It's it's like the it's. I don't know. Don't get me started. I know. I know, or else you won't be able to sleep tonight. Nah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Plus nothing. I, nothing keeps Timmy awake. There ain't a damn thing in this world that keeps Timmy no, awake usually anymore. Not. I mean, <laughs> I used to. I I I think I still have um, some Xanax next to the next to my bed just in case. 
you know, because for a while I was I was having a problem um, falling asleep. Oh yeah, so you use Xanax? I don't. I haven't in geez a while, a long yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, that's good. You know, I that's I, really good. I only use it if I really need it, and I haven't. You know, I, I try not do- to. My doctor won't. The doc- doctor won't give it to me. No, regular doctor won't give it to me. I was already told if you if you need something you got to go see that he's he's literally forcing me to go if I'm if I want something he's like forcing me in which it, you know it is he knows what you're it is. not going to go that's right that's, <laughs> that's what it is too he does <laughs> mental health 101 ladies and gentlemen that's right <laughs> you can't get the help you don't ask for <laughs> it's true <laughs> number one tip yeah. you can't or, get or the you're help not you don't willing, ask for or you're not willing to you know, partake in, you know? Yeah. You know? You know, I, I really did want to do this with diet and stuff. And in this position that I'm in right now, I, I think that this is the the thing. And I think, you know, the telling plan. You the, that. Telling me that. It's, it's really all up to me. And it's really, like, you can do stuff. Food is is medicine. Yeah, it so, is. So, you know, you got to eat right. And I, I mean, I like vegetables. I just happen to like raw vegetables. I'm not well, a big cook. That's vegetables. better. It is. It's very, it's better. It holds nutrients, I believe, yeah. right? Yeah, they Once do. You raw cook food them, it diet loses. is, raw food diet is pretty good, but some people can't tolerate it because it, 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 it's, it takes more to digest. Yeah, yeah. But you can take you can take enzymes. You can take probiotics. You can take prebiotics, and you can take they enzymes help. to help. Yeah, you can take enzymes to help break down the food. So, I think uh, I think sleep. I think we've covered sleep, and I hope everyone out there gets a good night's sleep. And if you're not getting a good night's sleep, try to figure out why. Because sleep is so important, man. It's so important to your health. It's so important to your guard, to your to your neuro health. In every way, and not just not just from a mental health or mental illness standpoint, but just for being able to function. Yeah, just in your the own, world. own well being. It's all around. It's it's you know absolutely. It's very good to uh, maintain good sleeping patterns, um, a healthy routine. Healthy routine. Healthy routine. Thank you for listening, and uh, if if you haven't done so, man, smash the like, smash the follow, f- smash the notification on YouTube with the bell, knowing the next episode is coming out every Wednesday, every Wednesday, everywhere you pod, everywhere Above you pod, Ground podcast will be there. This is true. And until next time, be well, be safe, be. be- above saturday june 5th it's reverbicon 2021 noon to 7 p.m fun for the whole family all ages are welcome check out this awesome outdoor and indoor event it's all sponsored by collar city concrete cool river pools llc corpse fx special effects makeup collar city paying llc into the great outdoors with some live music from joe mansman and the midnight revival band the peter anello trio and vombino wrestlers artists vendors food drinks summer fun reverbicon 2021 broken root barbecue 1544 state route 40 scatacoke new york saturday june 5th noon to 7 p.m with an after party with brian kane come hang out with capital underground on nipper town and that buzzing 518 show you've waited now it's here and it's free to the public reverbicon 2021 saturday june 5th at broken road barbecue and bar scanico check in with the above ground podcast.net for more information go to reverbicon on facebook